First things first, we're gonna need something to hold our beer or beverage in. We're gonna stick with the industry beer standard, and that is a keg. A micro keg, to be precise. Cost $29.99. Pretty simple, right? Just a keg growler, nothing special. Second, we're gonna need something to replace the top so we can keep CO2 in here and somehow get beer out of it, right? Well, we're just gonna go buy this nice little pre-made adapter that you can get on Amazon for $34.99. I just made a little mini keg. But John, how are you gonna get the beer out of there? You're still gonna have to unscrew it. Aha, that's where a tap, an adapter comes in for $19.99. So you where I'm going with this? But John, you don't have a way of getting CO2 and keeping your beer fresh and pressurized out of this. Well, aha, there's another regulator you can buy. This micro regulator attaches right here. And you can adjust the pressure. Wow, interesting. This sure looks very comparable and can do the exact same thing as a $279 product. And this only costs $117.95. That is over $161 in savings. I can make two of these and still be cheaper than one of theirs. But maybe, maybe this just doesn't work. Let's see how well it works. Let's do that. You know, let's say I had a couple of beers and I wanna keep them fresh. You know, wanna take them somewhere to a party, whatnot. This can be homebrew, this can be a rare beer, this can be a six pack. You know, you don't want a can of beer every time. So let's see how well this thing works. And in truth, this is my first time using this. Keep it tight. All right, regulators off, everything looks tight. Grab a CO2 cartridge, food grade, obviously. Put this into our regulator. Gas is going in, that's a good sign. There we go. We have gas. Honestly, if your keg's not that full too, you can even do a little purge. That should get the oxygen back out. Okay, now let's get out our glass and pour ourselves a tasty beverage. Oh, it's like having it on draft. Cheers. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Why? Well, for one, if I had a home brew and I wanted to take it somewhere, this will keep it fresh for everyone. Instead of having that growler and you open the top and it's pretty much bad after about 24 hours. You know, it goes flat. They say it lasts 48 hours, but really it's 24. The other great part is this is not just for beer. This is for any beverage. You wanna make a big batch cocktail of some kind. You want a bunch of old fashions? Here's 32 ounces of an old fashioned. You want margaritas? Here's 32 ounces of a margarita. You want a soda for your kids to go take to a picnic? Here's soda, carbonated water, orange juice, whatever. It is in a draft. It's going to keep it fresh for weeks at a time. As long as there's good CO2 in here, this will stay fresh. Another nice part is these particular cans are very cheap. So you have a 32 ounce, 64 ounce, and all you have to do is take the top off. And if you don't want to, it's still a growler. It's still a container. So if you're looking for something to take to parties or keep at your house, keep at your work, keep in a little mini fridge. Honestly, this is not hard to take apart. You just do that. And I can store it. Pop it back on whenever I'm ready to drink. Not that hard. Also, if I had multiples of these, I'd just jump them. It's pretty nice. So if you're looking into the market of a little personalized CO2 filled growler, there've been quite a few out there before. I think building it yourself is actually the better option this particular way. Multiple sizes under that $125 mark. And what I'd like to is this means it's not just for beer. It is any beverage you want, from carbonated waters or sodas, to beers, to wines, to cocktails. You can have on draft, ready to go at any party and keep cold. And a really friendly budget. 
So, my opinion, don't go for that square version. Kind of build it yourself. And if you do, let me know. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for that will be at the very bottom of the description. I don't know, what do you guys think of this? I really, really dig it. Would you want something like this at your house? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys.